Yo, what's going on guys? Blue here coming at you with another EGA 2K21 video. Um, this one's going to be something a little bit different. This is going to be in the design section, but it's actually not geared towards designers. It's geared towards players, um, but it is going to be part of my how to design thing videos. Um, what I want to show you guys is I find that the, the training facility in the game is very incomplete doesn't offer a lot of the type of shots you probably want to practice. I apologize for that sound. Doesn't offer the shots you probably want to practice. Um, and at the same time, it doesn't allow you to control the wind, variate the green speeds for greens, um, or do any of that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to teach you very, very quickly how to create your own practice facility in the designer. Uh, even if you're not a designer and you don't know how to do anything, I will teach you how to do this at a very basic level so that you can give yourselves a practice facility that is more complete and I'll teach you how to adjust the settings and everything. Um, so come with me. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do this. So for those of you who've never been in the designer before, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick new course. And in that new course, you're going to want to call it practice facility. You can call it whatever you want really at the end of the day, my fat fingers. For those of you that have ever seen me type into Twitch that chat uh, thought, which chat, um, you'll uh, you'll know that uh, I'm um, I'm very accustomed to fat fingering and and and, and spelling things incorrectly. Um, so here it doesn't really matter. You can pick whatever you want. If you have a if you have a setting in the background you want to look at more, I'm I'm partial to the Swiss one. Love the Swiss um, background in this game. So what you're gonna want to do is once you've active facility. Uh, game. Yes. You're going to want to uh, go to the terrain tab, lower your water level, lower your hills, no hills, no trees, no plants, no grass, no rocks. You can leave trees if you want, if you want to give yourselves like a, a cool little thing. But I just put no to everything. I apply that. You'll notice everything goes away. You click done. Then you're going to go to layout, which is the course layout. It th The game will auto-generate courses for you if you ask it to. Um, but you want to write new to all and apply, and therefore the, the, um, the course will then disappear. Now all you're left with is this big empty plot. You're going to click confirm, and you're going to be given the plot. And here's what we all start with when we design golf courses for you guys. You've never seen it before. Um, this is what it looks like. So the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to keep this very, very simple for you guys. We want to sculpt the land to be flat. Um, so what you want to do is you want to you want to go to um, the Edit tab. You, you you either with your controller on L1, R1, or with Q and E on PC, um, and you're gonna you're gonna go to Sculpt Land, Flatten, and you're going to go to page number five. And you're going to grab this square flatten. Okay. What you're going to do is either with the up on the D-pad or W or S, W in this case, because you want to be big, you're gonna make it as wide as you possibly can. I believe that's the widest it goes. And then what you want to do is you want to raise it. So on the D-pad, um I actually don't know what it is on the D-pad, to be fair. Hang tight. I actually don't know what raise on the D-pad is. I've never done... I don't... I don't function... Oh, I don't think I can do it because I have it... I don't have it programmed. Not 100% sure what the raise feature is uh, on... Uh, on... Um, on controller. I don't design on controller. But you'll see on the right hand side it actually tells you and one of them is called um raise lower brush that's the one you want to do so for me it's shift scroll wheel or or page up page down you're gonna want to bring it up like like 50 feet what well, the idea of that is get it away from the water table you just want to create this nice flat surface and there you have it now we've created this nice long flat surface for us to do um do the deed with 
Now, here you have a choice. You can either create multiple holes, but I like to do it all in one hole. And I'll show you why, because it's so easy to just keep taking practice shots. So you're going to want to go back to the edit feature. You're going to want to click add, create hole. And then you're going to give yourself, you know, start at one end of the, uh, of the plot here. The first click creates the T box. The second click creates the aim location that you're going to, or the midway point of the hole. Like that. And then the third location creates the green. And as you can see here, it's laid down some rough. Doesn't really matter what any of this looks like. So now we have our hole and how we're going to approach it. So there's things you can do off the tee, testing. Um, and then we're going to set up a whole bunch of fun different activities around the green um, for you to test out all kinds of different stuff. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to your settings, course settings, green. Um, actually, it's rough. Sorry, rough settings. And where it says rough width medium, you're going to put bring it down to zero. And it's going to get rid of that rough texture for you here. Um, and then you can change your textures if you want by going to the course settings. So two oops. course settings and then whatever you want, rough settings. So if we want to change the, the rough, the heavy rough texture you can go to your heavy rough, you can make it, you know, brown, whatever suits your eye, whatever, whatever you feel is, is best for your game. Uh, you can change it. I usually like to give it like these greeny, greeny type looks. That's, that's my thing here. And then I go to, um, fairway texture, change my fairway to being something completely different so I can very well see the, uh, the differences between the two textures and then your actual rough setting and roughs. I usually make, this is like your light rough. I make that, um, I make that a completely brown color so I can differentiate everything. If I want to practice on different surfaces or whatnot. So. What I first do is I create a fairway. E box gets pre created, you don't need to do anything with it. Fairway, you want to make sure you're giving yourself um, a fairway to hit into off the tee. Uh, I just, you could just measure to make sure that you're starting your fairway at a point where you'll at least be able to hit off the tee um, and, and hit a fairway with most clubs. But 100 yards is. Right. If you want to hit fairway all the way up to the to the tee box, you can too. So this is how you could create a fairway in the edit tab. You would go create surface, create surfaces, create fairway number three. And what you want to do here is you want to spline it out. And what that means is that you're just going to give it points to uh, to put on the uh, on the plot. So doesn't matter if it's straight. Doesn't like just make sure that it's wide enough. Give yourself something wide enough, like 600 yards wide, we should be good. Uh, probably a little too much, to be honest, too. Yeah, so giving myself about 150 yards on each side. And then you want to bring it all the way up. You want to move, so your green's going to be about there. You want to bring it all the way up to where your, where your green's going to be. Then bring it all the way back down. And then once you're done pressing the last um, spline, you're going to press escape or back on your on your controller. And in this menu here, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find one of the spline, uh, one of the spline, I'll make it easier so you can see it, one of the spline points. You're going to hover over that spline point like this. And you're going to want to edit the spline point. So you're going to select the spline point by pressing number six or moving to number six on your d-pad you're going to want to edit and then the, you're going to want to close the path and fill the spline and that gives you a completely full fairway to hit to okay so that's done we now have our fairway next we're going to do our green so back in the edit screen you just go to create surfaces greens and you give yourself a brush this time you don't have to spline a green out um 
You can just give yourself a brush. I usually like to give myself something like oval or round or, or this shape. Something that and you can rotate them. And uh, by pressing up on the D-pad or W and S, you can, you can make them larger. So I usually give myself like a larger than life green. This green would make no sense in real life. But that's not really the point. Um, so you can see here that this green, we take our measuring tool, the screen measures uh, 100, 200 yards across, um, which is fine. It's, it's not really the point to, to, um, to utilize the green. Obviously, the point is to learn, uh, to learn approach shotting and stuff like that. And what you could do is you can hover over your pin here, and one of the options on the bottom left just below my, my face is um, pull one pin one settings. You can move this pin towards the front if you want to so that you have a pin to shoot at for hole number for pin number one and remember this green is now flat and I'll show you what to do if you want to practice putting and stuff but now we have our our basic um, long bomb you can test you could test drives you can test approach shots onto greens you could change the green firmness, green speed to see how the ball reacts, um, and we'll show you all that right now. But the other thing you can do is obviously you can create different surfaces, different angles. How does that affect? Um, so what I like to do is down towards the end here, I like to uh, go to Sculpt Land, Raise, and on page number three, you have a tool, uh, this tool right here, the Half Moon tool. You could also use this tool here. The half moon tool, if you make it big enough, actually, so towards the end here, I like to give myself some room. Watch what this does. As I raise it up with, with uh, again, on controller, I don't know what the, what the command is, um, but on PC, it's either use the page up, page down, or, or whatever. Um, I can raise the level of the ground 12 feet like that. Click to apply. And now I've created a surface to practice a uphill. And then I could also do the same on this side, but actually uh, lower instead of raise. So if I lower it 12 feet, I've now created a surface with which to practice downhill effects. So you see here you have one bump for the uphill, one bump for the downhill. So if you if you place your ball here, you'll be able to practice what effect does it have on a club um, going into the green when I'm pr when I'm doing uphill when I'm doing downhill, and then the other thing you can do is use that same brush uh, turn sideways, and you can lower it on one side, and you can raise it on the other. And you'll notice I like to keep my raises and lowers on each side, like this. And you've now created a angle so that you can do um, I actually meant to I actually meant to raise and raise, not lower and raise on this one. You actually want to you want to come out here and you want to raise it. If we do it twice, it's gonna raise it back to what it was. Now we have a raise and a raise. So now you could try. You can what what it what what's it like to have the the ball way below your feet to the right or the ball way above your feet going left if you're a righty vice versa vice versa if you're a lefty right so you got your two angles um to to with which to practice on okay so now the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to see what's it like by the way all this this green stuff here is is rough right so that's good but what's it like to hit out of the out of the out of the out of the um out of the light rough. So you're going to go back to your edit tab. Uh, you're going to create surface rough option number four. Uh, hit your brush. I just grab like a square brush, rectangle brush, doesn't matter. Fairway is always going to be the top layer. And what I do is I just give myself an area here, kind of like this, that leads right up to the green of light rough. So if anything you want to do, and again, you could apply brushes in this rough if you want to know what's going on. But if you want to know what, what effect light rough has to your club with how it rolls out and everything, you've given yourself a light rough patch to do it. And you've guessed it. In the other side, we want to go back again to our create 
surfaces bunkers. And you're going to want to grab the brush, circular bunkers, and you're going to want to create a few bunkers. Um, here, I've, 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 I like to create a few close ones. So you just apply the brush, easy circles. I create a few close ones, and then I create like one or two big ones here. Going out this way, going out this way. And again, you can apply those same brushes in these bunkers. Um, you, you know, you can sculpt the bunker. If you go to Sculpt, Raise, and you wanted to give yourself... And again, this this is obviously how I, uh, I would not do this to actually sculpt the bunker in, <laughs> in when I'm creating a course. But if I wanted to, you know, I could. So I've given myself a bit of an incline. You see it there. I've given myself an up uphill. You can do whatever you want using the same brushes. So now I have a sand shot section i have a light rough section i have a section where i can just if you if you go around here you can practice just your regular approach shots using spins doing whatever and then you also have a section that you can practice your uphill shots your downhill shots your right your left banks um all of that really um and that's that that, that gives yourself a bit of a facility now using all these tools you can then go and make you know to your heart's content right but if you're wondering how a lot of people practice, how they find out, hey, what are the distances of my clubs? How do I how do I figure this, that, and the other thing out? Those are options you could do. The other thing you could do, guys, is around the hole. If you wanted to practice putting, um, I wouldn't recommend this for putting. Uh, Victory Lane Sports actually has a great putting course called Victory Arena. You could just play that course. I would recommend that if you want to do putting. But hey, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to practice again, course in your in your edit, in your sculpting, hitting the wrong buttons, my God, uh, sculpting raise, you know the, the the twelve foot thing again. This one we won't be won't be so, but you know you could take your pin, and you can jack your pin up, and give it a give it an uphill climb, and like what would it be to to climb a shot up up to your pin? Um, if, if you really wanted to, you know, create, create break or whatever and practice putting, you could create a little, little practice screen here with, with some breaks or, or whatever you, you want to do. You can create whatever you want. And if you hover over the pin, um, you'll notice when you back all the way out to the main menu, you, you always have a pin menu right below my face here. It says hole one. So you go to the pin menu, you can add pin positions if you want. And so if you want to create like that as a pin, that's pin, that's pin two, you know, you want to add, you know, pin three over here for some other kind of practice and then put a pin, you know, over here for all your sand practice and you want to sculpt the land, you know, use, you know, go ham, go, go wild with some of these other brushes and, and have fun with it, you know, and raise, raise it up. And now you got yourself, you know, you got yourself a little bit of a raise situation that you can hit into with the sand. You know, the, the, your, the world's your oyster, but this is definitely the better version and the better way to attack um, practicing all of your swings and, and stuff like that. Um, now, how do I use this, Blue? Like, you you set it up. I'm like, how do I play? Well, perfect, perfectly simple. You go to playtest, and in playtest, you have all your wind speeds. So if you, if you want to test at high winds, very high winds, you want to test with the wind um, at your back, north, south, west, east. If you don't know where north is, you just click on the, uh, you go to edit and you click on the map and it tells you where north is. So if you're, if you're driving, you're going to want to, you're going to want to have the wind go southeast for it at your back. You're going to have go northwest, put it in your face. So it, under play test, you can also pick your pin. So if you set a pin, you know, you've set a pin three to be your, your sand pitches, uh, your sand stuff, you're going to go pin three. And then, um, if you've set up multiple driving locations, um, or multiple holes. If you decided, hey, I want a different hole, like a par three hole that I create myself over here, where I just test par three stuff. Well, then what what you do is you you approach the tee box of the hole and you just tell it to play the hole, and then and then you can go ahead and play the hole. Yeah, but blue man, what the fuck, dude? Like, it's it's all the way down there. I, I gotta hit a hundred shots just to. Just to get to the hole and get to practicing, and then I got to start over, and I only got ten shots. Um, no, <laughs> obviously, the beauty of the um, the beauty of the uh, designer is so that we can play test while we're doing things. We have the ability to put the ball where we want. You'll notice the first option up here is called play from here. So if I wanted to practice um, my inclines, 
I would set myself right on this incline and press play from here. And I'm now practicing the uphill incline shot that I set myself up for. Right? Or whatnot. I probably should have set it up a little bit closer, but you guys get the idea. Um, and you can do that with, with anything. You can you can go and position yourself anywhere on the map. You know, we wanted to do those 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 things. And if you want to know how far, like if you want to do these with like mid irons in. We have a measuring tool in the edit function. You have the measuring tool. So if I wanted to do like mid iron in, I just have to make sure I'm giving myself, you know, like this is way too long. So these should have been maybe moved forward. This should have been moved forward a little bit too. But I could also, you know, there's no harm in uh, in going the other way. You can also face the other way and see what it see what it does downhill and uphill wise. You can utilize it in many ways. And then last but not least, guys, is when you're out there, uh, you know, play from here. When you're out there um, utilizing um, the, the the system and you want to take you know you take your shot you practice you obviously want to take the shot over again you could do that unlimited amount of times you just have to pause rewind shot and you're back at the previous shot without it counting towards the total shots taken for those of you that have made it to the end of the video I'm putting in a special comment for for you guys and let me know. Let me know in the comments if anybody's made it to the end of the video. I want to talk about the new driver from Titleist. You guys notice because of the 11 degrees the driver gives you, you actually get 90% off the fairway with this driver. You get a very, 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 you get the minimal penalty all the time. With this Titleist driver, I've noticed it time in and time again as I've been using it. I can hit a driver 250, 260 off the deck with this 11 degree uh, driver because it's basically two degrees off of a, a very de lofted three wood. So I would encourage you guys to, to, to unlock the new drivers. That 11 degree driver is really giving people an advantage. Especially when it comes to the D off the D shots, which we know on par fives are crucial. Um, so that's my little secret. That's my little tidbit. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know. I want to know if you if, if you guys heard this, uh, this, this, uh, this little tip. Until further notice and until the next time. Blue out. Peace.